time for our weekly haul. I'm excited. My last order from the Sephora sale came in. Another couple orders I made, a full collection I bought. I want to share it all with you. Let me start off though with a couple of foundations that I bought. So the one that I'm wearing today is this one. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And this is like a favorite for so many people for years. And I think NARS makes amazing complexion products. They're kind of underrated because they don't come out with a lot of new products all the time. And when they do color cosmetics like shadows and stuff like that, they tend to be kind of repetitive if we're being honest. But I have several NARS products that I just love. I love their soft matte foundation. And I know so many people love this one. This Radiant Foundation from NARS and I'm into trying new foundations lately. Like I want to try it all. With me having oily skin, Radiant can sometimes be like, maybe not, maybe not for me. But especially in the last few years, I've been embracing my oily skin. I definitely don't want makeup that breaks apart or wears away quickly but I don't mind having a little bit of glow to my skin. So I thought, let me try this one from NARS. Let me see. So I'm wearing it today and I think it looks really pretty. It's definitely radiant. And I think the powder is playing into that too. So it's just a first impression with this foundation today. And I think it's looking nice. I will keep you updated for sure. I know it's not a new foundation, just new to me. I caved and I bought the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I, I had to, okay? I know like things can get a lot of hype when they first launch, but this is a product that I kept seeing people talk about. It's a favorite, it's a favorite, it's a favorite. Even after the new had worn off, last day of the sale, I'm like, let me buy this foundation. And one of the reasons I didn't buy it initially is that when I looked online, all of the undertones like didn't look like they would work for me. But I saw somebody had commented and told me that MAC and House Labs are similar and that sometimes it will say cool when other brand would label it as a warm foundation. I wore this for the first time last night. I only had it on for like eight hours, but it was really pretty and it was a beautiful shade match. And this is definitely a warm olive shade. Like I do not think this is cool at all. So I went online, I did some little Googling and it seems like a lot of people are saying that this is warm. So let me know if you've tried House Labs. Do you find the undertones to be different than what's described. I was very pleasantly surprised with that one and I will definitely be like wearing it, testing it, letting y'all know what I think. But my first impression was that it was really pretty. I did buy the new Hourglass powder and I'm wearing it today and I don't know how I feel about it. Let me show you myself putting it on to like set my makeup down today. This is the Airbrush Pressed Powder vanish translucent medium this is the shade medium i i was surprised like when i opened the compact i was like oh did i order the light shade on accident and i checked and like no it's medium so it's very light if i get any like deeper in skin tone over the summer i don't think this will work for me because i like i think it's giving me a very bright under eye look today, but I love hourglass powders. So I think next time I use this, I'm going to do this, like trying it, just setting with a brush very lightly and, and seeing how that does on maybe more of like a light makeup day. And I want to try it like setting with my normal mattifying powders and then maybe just using this as like a finishing powder under the eye. I don't know because I don't, I don't love the way it's looking under my eye and in my T-zone today. If you are looking at this powder, I do think it runs light. Like I think medium is very light. So yeah, I'm going to keep trying and testing that not like an instant favorite or anything, but I'm gonna try it and play with it some more. If you haven't watched my haul video from last week, you definitely should because I found an instant favorite with the Huda Beauty glosses 
And I told you on that video, I was gonna go order some more because more is more and I need it. And that's exactly what I did. I bought two more. I had three in my cart, but I was like, Heather, stop. Like you're being ridiculous, stop. Get, get rid of one of the shades. And I'm not saying I'm not gonna buy it later, but these are the two that I bought now. Let me show you if I can get the box open. Good grief. These are the faux filler glosses. And I bought the shade Honey and the shade Foxy. It's a gloss for those of us who love gloss. Not sticky, but it is glossing like shiny, reflective, glassy, beautiful. I I'm so pleased with the clear shade. I'm so pleased with everything about it. I love this packaging. I think it's beautiful. I love when somebody will tell me like I've bought multiple shades because then I'm like, oh yes, you love this. You love this. So I'm excited to have two more. These are both like very me colors and I would love to get the rest of the colors but I practiced a little self-control during this haul and I love this component. Like I'm telling y'all that might be gloss of the year. I did buy another gloss. This is the Give Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel. I was interested in this initially and I just, I, I didn't purchase it and I meant to. So my friend Angie was telling me how much she loved it and I'm like, wait, I love Give lip products. Like I like the other glosses they have. I like their um, like lipsticks. I love Give. I talked about Give Beauty and like my number one products, like best from every brand at Sephora. I talked about their lip products. So I wanted to try their Dewy Gloss and I bought this in the shade Marigold. So it's like a more warm peachy color. So I didn't want to buy something that was too close to what I got from Huda. But I wanna test this out and see, am I gonna like this as much as the Huda? I, I, I know I like Give lip products, so I have very high hopes. I like this color and I like this packaging. I think it's cute. I think it fits in the line. Give Beauty, they have some good products. Like their lip stuff is really good. I like their powder bronzer. I like their blush duos. So I'm excited to try this Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel. I mean, topical collagen isn't going to do anything for me, but you know, I know companies like they market how they market, but I just hope it's a good gloss that's smooth and beautiful. And I can definitely let you know. I was excited to get this little guy. I know like sometimes Savoy does not have the most samples to choose from, but there was a Faye Fairy Duster Dry Shampoo. I actually bought the full size of this and I love it so much because it's like just straight up powder instead of like aerosol powder. And it does the job. Like it gets rid of any like dirty feeling. And when I saw I could get a mini, I was like, oh, I'm putting this up for my next family vacation. Like I'm gonna take this. It's so tiny and convenient and cute. Okay, I just had to rave about that sample because it's adorable. I bought the full collection, the Milk Smoke Sessions 2. I love Melt, I really do. I loved their holiday collection for Halloween and Christmas last year. So when they, when they when they showed the smoke sessions collection i love the first palette i'm like let me buy it first of all this packaging is so nice for melt it's like their typical cardboard packaging and then they have like this acrylic on the front i love this let me show you the inside it's purple blurple blue type of color story it's what i have on today and i'm here for it it's swatched beautifully. I'm just like, oh, I love when Melt is good, they are good. And I think this is so fun. We do have a couple of different formulas in the shimmers. This shade right here, Purple Goo, is a pretty like smooth, more traditional type shimmer. Not super metallic, but more into that traditional shimmer. Whereas a couple of these shades, we have a lot of sparkle, like what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And then I have a shade, let me see, this one right here and this one right here that have more sparkle than a normal shimmer, but not as much as these two. So I do appreciate that in a palette. I like to have multiple formulas. It gives a variety of looks, you know, and I just, 
I think this is a really pretty one. So I did wear this palette last night. I got to go to a local event. Christian Siriano, the designer, is having an exhibit at a local museum. So I went with a friend and the exhibit is People Are People and I got to see like all of his beautiful designs, collections. So I wore this palette for the first time to that and I really liked my look. I feel great in it. And I just, I really do enjoy Melt. Like they are an independently owned brand that I love supporting. And then of course I am wearing it on my eyes today for something kind of simple-ish, but very sparkly and still colorful. And I like, I'm like, I didn't have any issues at all working with this look. I felt like I could create this relatively quickly and I'm into it. The only thing this palette doesn't really have for me is a light shade for an inner corner highlight, but that's easy. I just pull in a face highlight. Of course I can do one of these colors on the inner corner, but when I want something a little brighter like today, I just grab a face highlighter and use that. So I'm really happy with my look. I'm really really happy with the palette so far. Really enjoyed using it. I also bought the new mascara. If you didn't know, the Melt Supernatural Lash Mascara is like my favorite mascara. I love it so much. So when I saw they were coming out with a new one, I'm like, yep, gonna buy that. This is so high curl lock waterproof. Oh, it's waterproof. Oh, I just realized that. Look at me just realizing things. So this is a waterproof mascara. Okay, that's cool. And the wand is curved. It's curved. I've only worn this twice. I have to try mascaras a lot more than one or two times to know what I think about it. So I'll definitely follow up with this, let you know what I think about it, how it performs, all of that. But since I love Supernatural Lash, like I have very high hopes for this one, but it also has a lot to live up to. Also in the collection are two of the gel liners from Melt. So this shade right here, Afterlife, is one of their ultra matte gel liners. Really beautiful. And I did not realize this. They probably said it and I just didn't realize. But it was actually a liner that was in their Beetlejuice collection. So I already have this one, but the Beetlejuice collection... Let me show you, like it has special packaging and I love it. So I barely use this liner because I didn't want to run out of it. I know that's a little like, doesn't make sense because am I really going to run out of a liner in my mind? Yes, but it has the Beetlejuice packaging and it's years old. So I was not unhappy about this because it's back. It's back, baby. It's back. And it makes me happy. My little like makeup loving heart can rest easy knowing I have one and I'm not going to use up my Beetlejuice. The other color in the collection is Haze. So this is a beautiful purpley, very warm color. You saw me put it on in my waterline for this like eye look that I did today. And this is not matte. This is the Reflect Gel Liner. So it has a different finish. Really, really pretty. I like using these from Melt as liner, of course, but I also really like using these as eyeshadow bases, specifically the matte ones, because you can pack eyeshadow on top and just get a completely different look, especially if you're using a multi-chrome or something like that. But again, in this collection, I think the last things in the Melt collection that I bought are the duochrome eyeshadow gels. So we have Clockwork Purple. This is pretty. I would actually say this is a multi-chrome, not a duochrome. This is not a super unique color. If you have multi-chromes and things from different indie brands, you probably already have something like this. But I thought it was interesting they called it a duochrome and not a multi-chrome because multi-chromes I believe are more expensive to make and I think that would have like you know let people know like hey this is a little bit more and then we have this shade right here this is sour grape so this shade is like a blue to purple again I don't think it's super unique if you have a lot of 
like multi-chrome, duochrome, stuff like that from indie brands. But I do think it's really pretty. And I also think because there are some different reflex in here, they maybe could have called this one a multi-chrome as well. So I'm excited to play with those. I haven't gotten to use them yet, but I definitely will. And I can definitely share with y'all once I have, because even though we're doing a haul today, I love doing hauls. I love showing y'all like what I bought, what was sent to me and letting you know, like this is, this is what's coming into my collection. Last week I had like three different eyeshadow tutorials in my haul video. I love trying things on with y'all, but just know that I always follow up too. I always follow up. What was sent to me this week was a package from Olaplex and I can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I have bought these products from Olaplex. I am on like a health hair journey, healthy hair, healing hair journey. Like I'm trying to take care of my hair a lot. This week I actually let my natural waves air dry, but I'm on like day three or four now. So I did go through like with a curling iron and like fix probably like half of my hair is my natural wave now and half of my hair is probably with a curling iron because I wasn't going to re-wet my hair, you know, but I, anyway, all that to say, I'm trying to like heal my hair, use good products. And one of the first brands I started using when I was like, okay, I really need to get serious about this was Olaplex. So they sent me their shampoo and conditioner. I really love these. I quite like that these are clear bottles because it's very easy for me to see like when I'm running out, when I need to repurchase. And I don't know how many times I've used these. Like I, I have family members who are on Olaplex. This is the number three. This is a hair treatment that you do before you wash your hair, which I love to do. I always do some type of scalp and hair treatment before I wash my hair. I plan for it, you know? So I'm excited to be using this again because I haven't had the number three in a while. So I'm very excited to be using that. I would love to know, do you like when I put the try-ons in the tutorials in these haul videos? I, if I get something, I like to play with it. That way when I show you in this haul, I can kind of give you a thought, a look, you know, more than just a, this is what I bought. Sometimes it's gonna be a, this is what I bought. But if I can, do you like me putting in these tutorials? Like today, you got two eye looks with the melt. I would love to hear, but I have tons of haul videos, tons of reviews, tons of tutorials here on my channel. So don't leave. I wanna talk about makeup all day, every day. So chat with me, let me know what you're excited about in the comments.